What is going on lads and welcome to the best Columbia squad on FIFA 15. We've got a couple of variations that we are going to take a look at but I'm going to show you my favourite one and it looks absolutely awesome. If you guys do enjoy this video and you enjoyed the face cam and wanted to stick around, make sure you smash that like button. 500 or even 750 would be absolutely awesome. As well, lads, if you want to go and get some coins to build this squad, it's pretty expensive. There is a link down in the description to just FIFA coins. The cheap, reliable, and the discount code AJ3 will get you 5% off. And if you don't want to go and spend some your money on coins, you want to do it a bit more legitimately, there's a link down in the description to the game keys as well. You go over there, get yourself some MSP, PSN codes, buy yourself some FIFA points, and open some packs, and fingers crossed, get some of these players because they are absolutely awesome awesome so let's get on and start putting in the squad and in goal we're gonna have this Vargas guy he is the same rated as Ospina but really lads do not buy Ospina he absolutely sucks buy this Vargas guy he is a decent goalkeeper he is a discard discard price inform as well nine and a half k for an inform goalie is pretty good in my opinion Centre backs, we are not going to have the guy you might be thinking of Perea the Silva who is absolutely rapid we're going for Franco and Zapata instead the reason we've gone for these is because they're basically as fast as Perea and they've almost got as good physical, but they've got such better defending, dribbling and passing that they just make them a lot better than that guy actually is. So you can put them in if you want. You can make this a three at the back and put all of them in. But personally, I prefer these two over him because he's a silver and his dribbling and his touch and stuff like that is terrible. And that is a really important factor on this FIFA. Left back, we are going to have to have a silver though, but he is an absolute machine. It is Armero, 89 pace, 78 physical. He is absolutely rapid and he's a massive, massive tank. At right back, we're going to have another really quick player. Not quite as strong, and he's actually got himself injured as well. 87 pace and 72 physical. He is a beast as well. Very, very good defence and goalkeeper this team when I did take out Ospina. Centre defensive mid, we're going to play this Sanchez guy. 87 physical. He is huge again. 70s in all of his stats, apart from his shooting and passing. And then, of course, pace is not too good either. But the dribbling, defending, and his physical are absolutely insane. If you really want to, you can swap him for Guarin, who is on the bench, but Guarin's got a high attacking work rate, and I didn't really like him when he was doing that because he just leaves a massive hole in the midfield and you will get absolutely destroyed on the counter-attack. Left mid, we are going to have a left winger. He is absolutely rapid once again. There's so many fast Colombians, and it is this Castillo guy, 91 pace, only got 66 shooting and 57 passing, but he's got 77 dribbling, which is pretty good as well. So if you just want to leg it down the line and then swing it into the box, you're probably going to win a header with this squad when you see who the strikers are. Right wing, we've got one of the best right wingers in the game. Juan Cuadrado, five-star skills, 93 pace, 87 dribbling. This guy is unreal. I love skills on this game. I can't really do them, but they are so, so effective. I've played people with him and he absolutely destroys my defence. Defending is hard enough anyway, which is why it's good to have this defence because they're all rapid. But when you throw in skills to the mix as well, it is so difficult to get the ball off so one. And Quadrado is absolutely perfect for that. Centre attack and mid, we have got one of my favourite cams on this game so far, James Rodriguez. Eight games, three goals, three assists. He is a brilliant player. I am terrible, once again, I'm going to say this at FIFA, so if you knock a couple of them games off, he's actually averaging a pretty good goals per game when I actually do perform. Other games that have been absolutely destroyed and I just none of them have been able to get into the game, but he is actually pretty decent. If you get him into the box on his left foot, he's probably going to knock it in the back of the net for you. And he plays some pretty sick passes to the strikers as well, who are Falcao and Ibarbo. Now, Ibarbo started off very, very poorly, but you can see he's actually scored six goals and got two assists in eight games. It took him five games to score a goal, but once he got started, Christ, did he start banging them in. He turned out to be absolutely crazy, and everybody loves this guy. I really would recommend him. It's quite expensive. You can see it cost me nearly 10k, but he's a very good player. Falcao, on the other hand, has only managed two goals and two assists in the five games that I've played them, and for 87k, and I think he's gone up to closer to 110 now, maybe not really worth it, and you might want to bring him this guy down on the bench, Jackson Martinez, who is an absolute tanker as well. It's up to you guys. I put Falcao in there because he is the highest rated Colombian player. So if it's the best Colombian team, surely you've got to put him in. But you guys, if you want to go sweaty, you could put Martinez and save yourself an absolute fortune. As well, if you want to change this up and get rid of this Castillo guy, you will unfortunately lose Guarin if you do it, but you can change it to 4 2 2 4 1 2 1 2 2 and bring in this Ramirez guy who is incredible and put Guarin as the other centre mid. So it's kind of a win some, you lose some because you lose Quadrado, but you gain this Ramirez guy who is absolutely awesome and you get rid of that terrible Castillo guy, but you're swapping Quadrado for Guarin. So 50-50 as to whether you guys want to do it. It's up to you what you want to do, but I would recommend this Ramirez guy. He scored an absolute rocket for me in one of the few games that he did play. But that is where we're going to leave this video, lads. It is an absolutely awesome team. I have really enjoyed playing with it. So I hope you guys do as well. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do drop a like on it. Apart from that though, lads, I'm going to leave you with some goals with this squad. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you are new and I will see you next time.
off my chest, train my mind so I forget. Sink your teeth into my bones, dig me out, then fill the hole. Tear me apart.